Hi there, my name is Morty Oberstein. I am the head of SEO branding here at Wix, and today I want to show you a great app in the app market called SE Ranking. What it will do is it'll help you get an understanding of who your competitors are on Google. And what may be surprising is that some of your competitors on Google may not be your competitors in quote unquote real life. So if you're in a brick and mortar store, your competitor down the block may not actually be your competitor on Google, and you might be surprised at what you find. To get started, we're going to enter a website into the SE Ranking app. I entered the Wix website, allelitewrestling.com in because I happen to like wrestling and I work at Wix, two for two. Now, let's just pretend for a minute that that's my website. I have this website. I know all of the data on the, I know how much traffic it's getting. I have all the Google Analytics data, Search Console data. What I really want to know is who are my competitors? So you can use the SE Ranking tool to find out who your organic competitors are on Google. And to do that, we're just gonna scroll right down here to organic competitors. And here are a bunch of websites that are also ranking on the same Google result pages for the same keyword as my website is. Of course, we're just pretending this is my website. Okay, what you get here is a breakdown of you versus your competitors. In this case, because I search for my website, again, I'm pretending it's my website. And I can see total traffic relative to the comp to the competitors. I can look at specific competitors alone. I can compare multiple competitors. And I can see things according to the number of total traffic or how many keywords they're ranking for. Let's just stick with total traffic for the moment. Here I can see how many keywords my competitors are ranking for that I am also ranking for, meaning what keywords we share in common that we're both ranking for on Google. And I can also see some of the keywords where my competitors are ranking, but I might not be ranking. Let's just try one of these competitors out for a moment. Let's try this website and let's go with the keywords that we're both ranking for because maybe my website ranks lower than the competitor's website. For example, in this particular case, pro wrestling news is the keyword. SE ranking tells me that every month this keyword Pro Wrestling News is searched for 74,000 times on Google. That's a pretty great keyword. We also can see that it's not an overly difficult keyword to rank for. It's got a keyword difficulty score of 39. And we could also see that my competitor here has gone down in ranking and they're ranking number nine on Google for this keyword. I have gone up. Two, but I'm only ranking number 18. This might be an opportunity for me. I might say, you know what? Let me look at this page. Let me look at the competitor's page. Let me look what else is ranking on the, the SERP for this keyword. And let me see what I can do to better optimize my page that I'm ranking ahead of my competitor here and not below them. Here's another way to use the SE ranking app inside of the Wix app marketplace. Let's say, for example, I already know who my competitor is, but I want to get some more information about them and just see how well they're performing, and where they're performing well. So in this case, we run a podcast on the Wix SEO hub called the Surps Up Podcast, which comes out every week. So check it out. And one of our competitors is edgeofthewebradio.com. I'm not really a competitor. They also happen to produce the show and I also happen to do their weekly news podcast. So they're also a great podcast, but let, let's pretend that we're real competitors here. And I really want to understand what's happening with their website on Google. I'm going to analyze edgeofthewebradio.com. I can look at it globally. I can look at it per market. I can see metrics like domain trust. That's a very top level kind of metric that kind of tells you very, very generally how authoritative this website is. I can see things like how many keywords are they ranking for? I can see which markets are they dominant in? I can even see their paid and organic performance over time. Let's just say I don't want to focus on paid. I want to see their organic total traffic coming from organic search over the last 36 months or 30 months. Or maybe I just want to see how many keywords are they ranking for? Wow. Back in the beginning of 2023, end of 2022, they had a huge spike in the number of keywords they were ranking for. Interesting. I can see things like which keywords are they actually ranking for? Let's dive into that for a moment. Here I can see their total traffic again, the number of keywords again, and I could see the actual keywords that they're ranking for. In this case, for example, here I can see they're ranking for Edge of the Web podcast and they're actually ranking number one. 
and that's got a search volume of 20. Now that makes good sense because that's the name of their podcast. So what I might do here is use the filters and there are a huge amount of filters that can really help you refine what you're looking for here. So in this case, I want to exclude their brand name. So I'm going to add that in and I'm going to click on containing. I'm going to put the name of and in, in this case, it's the web. Hit apply, apply filters, and now I'll get keywords that don't have their brand name in it. For example, now I can see that they rank for keyword research podcast. These help me understand what my competition is ranking for, what they're not ranking for, and where I might be able to target them. Let's keep exploring what the SE ranking app has to offer. Again, I could see the other competitors there. I could see the overlap in competition. I can also see things like SERP features. For example, I could see the keywords that my competition is ranking for that brings up a video box on the Google results page. And that's what I literally just clicked on. And you could see here through the SERP features tab that these keywords bring up the video box. So maybe I can target my competition by having a video on YouTube and having the traffic go to my YouTube channel or embedding that YouTube video onto my own website and so forth. I can even see which of my competitors' pages are bringing in the most traffic from search. For example, here, I can see their episode with guest Cindy Crum, former member of the Wix SEO Advisory Board, brings in a lot of traffic for them. Maybe I want to have Cindy on my podcast, which we did actually early on on the SERPs Up podcast. So look for that. Again, the SE ranking app can really help you understand what's happening on the Google results page and give you an insight into how your competitor is performing, where they're performing well, where they're not performing well, so that you can target them appropriately. Now, the last thing the SE ranking app can do is really help you understand keywords. It has a keyword research tool in there built in. So in this case, I want to see best podcast. What should I, should I be targeting that keyword? Should I not be targeting that keyword? What are the variations of the keyword should I be targeting? And we get a heap of information here. So we see first off how difficult it is to rank for this keyword. It's 47 out of 100. That's kind of doable. We can see the search volume, meaning how many searches are being done for this keyword every month. And we can see it over time and we can see, wow, this keyword has actually lost some search volume over the last year or so. We can see where people tend to search this from, meaning is this a popular keyword in the UK? Is it a popular keyword in Australia and Canada and so forth? And we can even see similar keywords, related keywords for questions. So if I want to write a blog post about podcasting, maybe I could write a blog post about what are the best podcasts or what's the best podcast app. Here I can see the related questions that people have and it can help me create content from there. For example, here, if I want to know what is the best podcast app, maybe I want to write a blog post about that. I can see the keyword difficulty is 40 and 90 people or 90 searches are done for this keyword every single month. Let's go back for a quick second. I can also see which websites are ranking on the SERP for this keyword. And that'll help me get an idea of what type of websites are ranking, what types of pages are ranking, what kind of content do I need to create to rank for this keyword and so forth. Again, a nifty little tool as part of the overall SE ranking app to help you, A, understand your keywords and what to target and to understand your competitors, who they are, what are they focusing on, where are they winning, where's their room to go after them, and how you can succeed on Google. Information is everything, and I hope you use the information in the SE ranking app to better optimize and target the content on your website.